Welcome. So what we have here is 2x cubed plus 9x squared plus 14x plus 5 divided by 2x plus 1. So this problem is going to be a little bit different. As you can see, our divisor uh, now is in the form of you know, 2x plus 1. So it's not our first, our leading term is not just a variable by itself. Uh, we now have a coefficient with it. However, when applying the division algorithm, it's not really going to do too much of a difference. So let's go and take a look at how it will change it. So I have 2x plus 1 is my divisor dividing into my dividend, which is 2x cubed plus 9x squared plus 14x plus 5. OK, so when applying the division algorithm for long division, we're going to do the exact same thing. This is going to be our most important term of our divisor, as long as that's the leading term in descending order, which it is. Then I take my first term, divide it into the first term of my divisor. We're going to do this one at a time. 2x divides into x cubed x squared times x squared times 2x is a 2x cubed. Now we need to make sure we remember we multiply this quotient by both terms of our divisor. So x squared times 1 is going to leave us with a x squared term. Then we divide the first two, or sub, sorry, subtract the first two rows. Just remember, though, when you're subtracting, let's put them around parentheses and uh, put them around parentheses with our subtraction sign. Therefore, 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is going to be 0 x cubed, which is just 0. 9x squared minus x squared is going to be a positive 8x squared. Now we take our divisor, our first term of divisor, and divide it into this term. 2x divides into 8x squared, a positive 4x times. Then I take this term and multiply it by both terms of my divisor. 4x times 2x is 8x squared. And 4x times 1 is going to be a positive 4. Again, I bring down my positive 14x so I can subtract the two rows. Again, when I subtract the two rows, make sure you put them in parentheses and subtract. So 8x squared minus 8x squared is 0x squared, which is just 0. 14x minus 4 is going to be a positive 10x. That's a 4x times 4 is definitely a 4x, not a 4. So 14x minus 4 is going to be a positive 10x. Therefore, then, I take my divisor, first term of my divisor, and divide into the term. 2x divides into 5x a positive 5 times. Multiply this times 2x. 5 times 2x is going to be a positive 10x. And 5 times 1 is a positive 5. Again, I bring down my 5 to subtract the two rows. And when I subtract the two rows, I need to make sure I put them in parentheses. So 10x minus 10x is going to be 0x. And 5 minus 5 is going to be 0. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, there is an example of how to use long division. Thanks.